hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel yes guys i'm back on better with another banger 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 that was quite exhausting so guys yes guys like I promised in the last video, you're going to be doing a lot of things on this channel. So yes, I'm back here to give you the summary of one of the best-selling books here in Nigeria. And yes, internationally too, based on business. Yes. Anyway, the name of the book is How to Sell to Nigerians, written by our own author, Akin Albi. So for every chapter, I'm going to be giving or doing a different upload so that like, you assimilate everything and understand it very well so yes, without further ado let's get into the video i think i got that in a way yeah i'm actually excited i don't know why i'm excited so yes he started by telling us a business owner or if you're a seller if you if you need to sell things to people do not beg people to buy from you a lot of people always what i would say come and buy before i go back to the village come and buy my show and blah 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 blah, blah. or the normal one self um help me repost help me retreat my customer might be in your contact list or that kind of thing so yes yeah, to tell us that no and oh no that's not how to sell to your customers and so if you really want people to buy what you're selling he has given us three basic things to do to get that done so yeah what are these? number one use the word free 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 yes yeah, because nigerians do like free things Yes, you can agree with me. We too like free things. Anyway, number two, make, give, make, give giant promises. Emphasis on the word giant. And the last but not the least, always give a guarantee. Yes. So we're going to dive into explaining each. I don't know what to call it, but I'm going to explain what everything I've actually said now. So, yes. So, number one, using the word free. You and I know too well that I, you, me, you, everybody, most of us love free things. I don't know who will come and tell you like free things. If you don't like free things, let me see it in the comment section below. If you like free things, let me see it in the comment section below too. And then I will, from whatever answers we get, then you know that most of us in this Nigeria. We like free things so yes as a business and knowing this you have to, you have to use that word to get customers to yourself yeah how do you go about this he gave instances maybe you want organizing a seminar or you're an information marketer or you're into e-commerce whatever business it is you are into using the word free really attracts a lot of customers to you like it enrobs them to you it's not left for you then to convert these prospects into you know customers so example could be even free delivery now a product is let's say for instance 5k mm -hmm. then you say delivery is one five do you know so Delivery makes a lot of people to run away. Delivery makes me. If I want to buy something, I'm not saying I'm not being customer, customer, but like if I want to buy something, and I see delivery free. Run. Because, I don't know. Yes. Delivery free plus the product equals to a very high amount of money. Let's say for instance, we are using that example. 5k and then delivery fee is one for that means i'm actually paying 65 for the whole thing i'm actually just paid 5k mm -hmm. so yes if you want to use that free delivery now how do you go about it he so gave us a very 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 tricky trick yes so if that product is 5k you can as well add the delivery fee to it pick it 65 and then you go buy this for 65 and deliver it's free 
you will get more customers than you would have when the product was 5k and the delivery was one five because then if someone says okay i want to buy this product is five i can as well be in the comfort of my home and receive whatever product it is isn't that good so yeah that was using free delivery free is still there you can also give free ebooks maybe you are selling digital products on something you can give free ebooks or you're organizing a seminar you can also give free ebooks we also have free webinars and then okay he give another example maybe you go to a hotel and then they say book two days and get the third day free gay 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 isn't a mad that's mad for me it is for me i don't know for you but free i know it should for you because yes now mm -hmm. who wouldn't want that offer that's that for using the word free for the second one giving or making giant promises emphasis on the word giant because in this same nigeria the normal ideal i don't know what to call this thing now anyway it is said or it is known that it is better to under promise and over deliver as far you want to wow your customers instead of the other way around but in this our country mm -mm, not like that now you do it the opposite for us in nigeria <laughs> it is better to over promise so and under deliver if you really want to sell that is how you're going to do it yes because you're in nigeria you want to sell to nigerians yes because like I've been saying, and like he said, we like things that are sweet. We like things that are too good to be true. Mm -hmm. He gave us an instance where, you know, he's, he's the owner of Naira Bits, as you know, or you don't know. <laughs> anyway, he's the owner of Naira Bits. Yes, he founded that. So when he first started, there were other competitors. And one of his bonuses was offering cash out in less than 24 hours. Cash out wasn't even going to reach 24 hours. That was just his way of under promising so that he will over deliver. You get that when they bet and then they get their cash out way before 24 hours. I was like, oh, oh my god! Wow! But nah. Mm -mm. That wasn't the case because his competitors who over promised by promising instant cash out had more customers than he had and so when he like you know when he went over to like check also get like betting in their own companies and all that he realized that even that even after promising instant cash out at some point they paid him two hours later at another point they paid him six hours later even though it was only they paid him 12 hours later but what's the deal here? The main thing here is that he already betted. He already made his pay. He already like bought, like in, in case of buying, he already bought from them. So do you understand? This whole over promising thing has this tendency of drawing or attracting more prospects to you. Yeah. And by the time they come into this day, it's not left for you to do as you promised. You get don't come promise what you cannot deliver out. Ha. So before your customers run away from you, come on, blame Akin and Abi. No, better promise what you can deliver. Do you understand? Yes, I know you understand. Another instance, you give another instance. Oh. Let's let's take two companies now. Let's bring two companies now. Oh. One say if you buy this furniture, it will last for five years. The other one said it will last for ten years. But the main cocoa here is now is that that one that said it lasts for five years actually that furniture is going to last for more than five years but that one that says it's going to last for 10 years even before 10 years it has already spoke but you don't know this you don't know about this so you just so you know that this one lasts for five years and this one lasts for 10 years which one would you go for let me see that in the comment section obviously yes me too that one you choose yes me too i also choose it so that's what he's trying to say mm -hmm. 
that guy now who over promised has won a customer to himself he has made a sale what's whatever thing that happens later on is around that business altogether <laughs> then to the last but not the least giving a guarantee let your customers know that you have confidence in whatever it is that you are selling and you are ready to you know do whatever if that thing does not give you the benefits it was supposed to give you or give you the whatever you people you're expecting for me to give you so so you give us an example you wanted to buy a house then can't actually remember you wanted to buy a house and one was for 1.5 one was 1.2 million and both of them were you know they were very good sales people like they were trying to get him to buy the stuff and all that and you know as you are there's no way you will know when something is bad or when something is then it matters. Don't confuse which one will he buy because the both of them are saying the same thing. What happened with before he now chose the one to buy? No one behold, the person that was selling it for 1.5 gave him a guarantee, telling him that Oga CA if this if there is a problem in the house, maybe something should spoil in the house, be used on him. He will like repair it he will do whatever service he has to do and if the problem becomes a structural problem maybe a problem with structure his money back like you give him back his money and you can find another house and boom that was how he bought it for that 1.5 million as i guess that was 1.2 million because of that guarantee and i know that a lot of us are like that you know when we see that guarantee we are like it's like i see that person has that seller has established has made us want to trust him more has established that confidence that product is game game you know mm -hmm. so he gave us ways we can give a guarantee maybe if you're selling cars you can get guarantee of free service if you're selling you know most of these physical products we see around you can give a guarantee of money back yeah maybe if you didn't like what you whatever you saw i'll give you your money back okay for example now even this is book now how to sell to nigerians he gave a money back guarantee that is if you finish reading this book and you, do, and you do not achieve anything within it he will give you your money back no matter as in a lifetime guarantee he'll give you the money back no matter where even if it's like the next 20 years he'll give you money back and then you will hold the book that's like telling you sorry for wasting your time so that's it so now tell me who will not carry and can buy you can read. So that's the thing. So my dear people of God, these are the three basic ways Akin Alabi has made us are the three basic ways Akin Alabi has given us to make customers want what we are selling. So guys, that is the end. So guys, that is the end of this video. Stay tuned for chapter two. So guys, that's the end of this video. We finally come. <laughs> so guys, we finally come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Let me see your comments in the comment section. And please like and share to your friends, especially the business owners. Yo. So yeah, guys. See you when we see. One, two, three, four. I love you.